Have you ever wondered how the engine on your lawnmower works? Well, today I will show you what happens inside the engine and how it produces the power to mow your yard. This Briggs & Stratton engine used to power a small push mower, much like this one. That mower has since worn out and I decided to make this engine a cutaway to demonstrate how an engine works. We'll start by explaining how the four-stroke engine works. There are basically two categories of gasoline engines, two-stroke and four-stroke. The vast majority of push mower engines are four-stroke, like this one. The four strokes explain what the engine is doing inside. Each stroke is a half turn of the crankshaft, or a complete back and forth movement of the piston. The four strokes are intake, compression, power, and exhaust. The intake stroke brings the gas and air mix into the combustion chamber, also known as the cylinder. That's pulling the piston down. The compression stroke brings the piston back up, compressing and squeezing the fuel mix in the cylinder. Now this is when the fun happens. The power stroke occurs once the fuel is ignited by the spark plug and the resulting explosion forces the piston back down. The fourth and final stroke is the exhaust stroke. This is when the exhaust gases are released out of the cylinder by the piston pushing them out and the four stroke process starts over again with the intake, compression, power, and exhaust strokes. Now let's take a look at some of the different parts of the engine. We'll start with the flywheel up here. This is what helps keep the engine turning between each power stroke. It's got some weight to it and that gives the engine momentum to keep turning. It's connected directly to the crankshaft and spins as one unit there. The crankshaft is basically a crank that makes the piston move back and forth in the cylinder. As you can see it comes down and then over to the connecting rod and then back over and back down as the output shaft that's connected to the blade on your lawnmower. Right here is the connecting rod and that connects the crankshaft to the piston making it move back and forth. Next here we have the camshaft and this is what operates the valves. It has two cam lobes on them which are basically an egg-shaped lobe that bumps each of the tappets at the right time to open the valves. As you can see here the lower lobe is tapping the exhaust valve opening that valve and then we'll see the, the intake valve up here be opened. These are the tappets and they are what push the valve stems which in turn open the valves inside. Here are the two valve springs. Those make the valves go back to their seated position or closed position here on the front side of the engine. We'll take a look at that in just a moment. Right here we have the oil slinger and this is what makes the oil move around in the engine. It's basically a paddle wheel for the oil which gets oil onto the crankshaft and connecting rod connection. It also will sling oil all the way into the back side of the, of the cylinder to lubricate the piston. It's also going to sling oil onto the camshaft here to lubricate the, the tappets and the lobes. And also will lubricate the gears as they're spinning as well. Now we're looking at the front side of the engine where we have the outside of the cylinder, the head, and the spark plug. Inside we have the piston and then the rest of the cylinder on the inside. This is where the, the piston lives and slides back and forth in the cylinder a few thousand times every minute when the engine's running. There we have the two valves which open and close at their respective times. Back to the piston and connecting rod here, you'll see there's a slight portion of the connecting rod you can see, that's kind of the middle portion there. And then here we have the wrist pin which allows the piston to have the wrist action it needs as it's moving up and down in the cylinder. Here we have the head and it's got this gap here for the intake gases to come into the cylinder and then the gap here for the exhaust gases to exit the cylinder. Here we have the spark plug hole. 
and the spark plug itself. You'll notice there there's a, a gap in between and that's where a spark arcs across and that's what makes the fuel combust. Now I hope you understand how the engine on your push mower makes the power to mow your yard. Thanks for watching.